four, three, two, one. Three, You'll four, never four, have four, me, Sacred Stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother... Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Flavor. The flavor today is Bill Burr in Why Get Married. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any future videos. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at Bill Burr in Why Get Married. Now I feel like a loser, man. I am, man. I'm fucking 36. I'm not married, you know? I'm at that age where everybody I know is getting married. You know, let me ask you a question. Why the hell do people keep getting married? You know, isn't anybody looking at the stats? At the stats. I mean, what's it like? One out of two marriages goes right down the shitter? People, if you were going skydiving and they told you half the parachutes weren't going to open, <laughs> you'd be like, yo, fuck that. I'm not, I'm going. not going. I ain't going. It's like, I don't like those odds. I get a 50% chance of splatting on the ground. I'm not, I'm not doing, doing it, it, right? But there's something about getting married. People just have to do it. They're just like, is this the line to lose half my shit? <laughs> awesome! <laughs> this is going to be great. I can't wait to lose my car, my money. Oh, look, the line's moving. One step closer <laughs> to my own personal health. <laughs> no, I don't think I could ever get married, man. Married dudes freak me out. Anytime you ask a married guy, what's it like being married? They always tell you it's good, but they always have a look on their face like they have like an appendicitis. You ever notice that? <laughs> You're like, dude, what's it like being married? Like, you know, it's good. It's good. It's, uh... No, no, it's good. It's enjoyable, you know. It's a lot of work, but, uh, you know, I think when you meet that special someone... <laughs> There's a connection, and I, I can't feel my legs. Let me just, just lean over here. You know, a woman completes a man, and some other metaphor. <laughs> no, you know what freaks me out, too, really? When you go to a man's house, there's nothing in there. A married guy's house. When you walk in there, there's nothing in there that even suggests a man even lives there. It's all potpourri and throw pillows. That stupid canopy, we live in a dollhouse bullshit over the bed. Where does all the guy's stuff go? They just throw it out, they just walk into your apartment. Oh my God, look at all your stuff. All your stuff is stupid. Look at all this stupid stuff. Wow, guys buy really stupid stuff. Hey, you wanna go to the candle store? Let's go to the candle store, wouldn't that be awesome? Hold up, wait a minute. I'm sorry, I, gotta, I had to say it, I had to say it. He's right! <laughs> and, and I think back in the day, the divorce rate was 50%. That's like maybe 15, 20 years ago. I think the divorce rate's even higher. I would say at least six, I think two out of three marriages don't work, period. And you know what, I'm not even gonna apportion the second marriages and the third marriages for people. We're talking about first marriages for people, both parties. For the female, it's their first marriage, 66% of them don't work, <laughs> period. But you know what, it's a partnership now. It's not even about being in love, it's about we, our goals, we wanna have a family, we wanna have kids, so we gotta do this, right? It, it's the best for the children, having a nuclear family. That's, that's really what it's all about. It's about you know meeting your lifetime goals, but it's not about what marriage really should be about is falling in love. It's not. Because if it was 66% saying like the partnership's not working out, we gotta dissolve it. <laughs> we gotta dissolve the partnership by any means necessary. And and I think to at least, at least, it might even be three out of four, let's be honest. But at least two out of three ain't working out. It ain't, it ain't working out. And, I, and I've seen it, I'm not calling any names, I, I've seen it personally as well that it just doesn't work out. Now, you might be on to the second one, and the second one might be more successful, 
have a feeling that doesn't work out a lot with either. <laughs> but the first one, uh-uh, doesn't work out. It doesn't work out. And, and you look within your family and your intermediate family and you do the stats. And I'm pretty sure two out of three. <laughs> Minimally, <laughs> two out of three. First marriages don't work out. And he's right. Don't know why people are lining up for that. He's right. Anyway, let's let, let's get back. <laughs> I've been dragged into that nightmare for like an hour and a half, 90 minutes just sitting there. This doesn't smell like a pumpkin. Doesn't that smell like a pumpkin? <laughs> this looks like a Christmas tree. Wouldn't that be great? Smell like Christmas in the apartment? Middle of the summer, just fuck with your whole reality? <laughs> No, you know what it is? I didn't have like a really good model necessarily, like growing up, like watching my parents, they always used to argue and shit, you know? Like I was afraid of my dad when I was growing up, you know? Anybody have a dad like Fear. that? Just afraid of him? You know, not like those sitcom dads, they come home, the kids are like hugging their legs. My dad pulls in the driveway, me and my brother's freaked like fucking dad's home. <laughs> Shut off the TV, engine. try to hide. Dude, if I stand like this, do I look like a lamp? He won't see me, right? Can I just fucking chill you know, out here? Out so you, know, you know who it is? <laughs> He wasn't understanding. You fucked up, he oh, told gosh. you. He didn't sit down, well, we're gonna work it out. We'll just, you know, I still love you. He look, you, what the fuck is it's wrong with you? You don't learn from learning. Jesus Christ, yeah. you're an idiot. You learn from fear. Aren't you even paying attention? No <laughs> oh, bullshit. <laughs> Christ, you're just like your mother. You're fucking out oh, to lunch. Oh, He's right. That's, that's old school. That was my dad. No matter what he was bitching about, somehow he would make it about my mother. Would have nothing to do with her. Nothing to do with her. He could somehow find a connection and spin it back. He'd have said, oh, was it raining out? Oh, for Christ's sake, I don't need this shit. Christ, it's the same goddamn thing with your mother. That woman is a fucking cloud hanging over my life. Anytime you got an idea, Christ, she shits all over it. No, he was hilarious. He ain't lying. He, he used to work nine. all the time, so he didn't really have like any friends or anything. So he used to talk to me when I was eight years old, like I was a fucking bartender. <laughs> Just dumping all this shit on me. <laughs> like playing in the sandbox, he'd be coming up there. I'll tell you, I don't know what the fuck I ever got married for. <laughs> I'll tell you, man, I'm, I'm gonna get the fuck out. I swear to God, one of these days, I'm gonna get in the car, I'm Just gonna fucking out. drive out get of here. Out. Your mother's a bitch, Billy. Do you realize that? The woman is a fucking bitch. <laughs> Is that too real for you guys? You fucking know what I'm talking about. That's the other way. That's gotta be real. <laughs> Listen, people. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I don't want to deter those people. Good, a nice, happy marriage, happy family. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it strong. Keep it strong. For your rest, y'all. The other 66%, you know, think twice before you get in that lineup. That's all. Are, are you in it for the right reasons? That's all I'm saying. I ain't knocking it. Respect. <laughs> uh, just for 66% of y'all, uh, think think twice. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any future videos. Until next time. Deuces.